So, a couple of you, or at least some of you, may have seen my Instagram video and maybe were a little bit concerned. If you don't know what I'm talking about, on my Instagram I posted a video recently, apart from the terrible rapping in the car, um, about me sleeping in the chair at like 6 in the morning and saying stuff was going on and I wasn't going to talk about it right now. So yesterday I woke up at like 10.30 and it's currently 6.30 and I haven't gone to bed because we're having a problem. I'll give you guys more information soon, but oh, I don't know. Everything's like fine but like between us, but we're just having a problem in the apartment right now. And I don't... Like, I'm trying, I'm like going to sleep in my chair, and it's, I'm just, I'm, I'm tired. In four hours, I've been awake for almost 21 hours, give or take, something like that. I'm starving. <laughs> I want to go to sleep, but I can't go to sleep. So, my lips are chapped, I'm sorry. I just want to. I got a text from somebody, one of my friends, asking me if things were like bad, if stuff was going down. I'm like, no, 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 things are okay. It's not like that. We just had a bit of a misadventure that I didn't think we'd be experiencing until we owned our own home. Basically, went on Facebook, and this video, by the way, is going to serve as a warning to everybody in the future to be smarter than me. I went to Facebook because we were looking for a couch. Found a couch pretty quick. Couch, ottoman, 75 bucks both. New renovation of the house. I could see in the photos that it was a newly, newly uh, a house that was being refurnished and renovated and worked on and stuff. So I was like, okay, cool. So they got this place. Gonna get rid of the couch. Um, had some problems, whatever. I was gonna go out there and pick it up, but I couldn't afford the U-Haul. It'd be way too expensive compared to what I was gonna buy it for to go get the U-Haul to go get it. Cause I don't have a truck, and I had nobody that could have driven me in a truck or con gone to get it with me. So I was like, hey, for I'll give you a little extra money if you deliver it to me. He's a like, deal. So. Total was $125, and he was going to deliver it to me, like 45 minutes away. So, like, sweet deal. So, we get the we get the couch. I get it inside, pay him. Nice guy, seemingly. And I get inside. It's all fine. We have it for about five days, and a couple days ago, um, Sam yells at me from the living room because she's out there playing games. So, I'm like, I come out there. She's screaming to get out there right now. So, I sit down. I set my stuff down. I run out there thinking stuff, something's going on, something really bad. And she says, look get your phone and look what bed bugs look like look up what bed bugs look like i went oh no <sighs> yeah about the worst thing you can imagine from getting furniture used is bed bugs and lo and behold this couch had a couple it had a few not too many the entire thing wasn't completely flooding with them but in the five days we had it, Sam spent most of her time out there after work or before work playing games, sitting on the couch, and we both of us slept on it once, at least. And uh, <laughs> so we found a couple on there, found a couple hiding, opened it up on the inside. There was a couple inside with a couple of nymphs and some eggs, and we're like, well, that's that. So we, I literally immediately was like, I don't care about anything else. Get this thing out of the house. Get this thing out of the apartment, because we are not going to infect the rest of the apartment with bed bugs. So we took it. Threw it outside and ripped it up with razor blades. I'll put some pictures on the screen for you guys to see. I started slicing with razor blades because I've, I read that you need to damage it so nobody else takes it thinking, oh, free couch. So we ripped it up so no one would touch it. Didn't tell anybody. Doing it discreetly. Right now it's a mystery as to why those are next to the dumpster to the rest of the apartment complex and why that why they're ripped up. So <laughs> I destroyed those. Talked to my landlord and said, yo, this is what's going down and we're figuring that out. So right now it's been... Um, two nights since that happened and that's why I was sleeping on the chair because I was not about to go sleep in my bed because we went into the bedroom and we we're trying to figure out how far is it spread and almost immediately I saw one crawling on the tapestry on the wall. Sam got really upset. She was really, really sad, really annoyed and we're working on that. So I, sh she slept on the mattress with a towel and one pillow while the rest of our stuff was being washed. I slept on my chair with my trench coat and a pillow and I'm fine, I've gotten no bites or anything, but Sam, on the other hand, has gotten riddled. that They have been draining her of blood, because that's what they do. They bite you, they drain some blood from you, they can suck on you for 10 minutes, you won't even know. And uh, they bring it back and they grow more with, their, with your blood. I think Sam just got home. Sam just got home, I'm recording a vlog. What? I said I'm recording a vlog. Okay, so I'm, 
I'm doing an update on the bed bug situation. I'm telling everyone what happened, why I posted that Instagram video. So as I was about, I'm just saying, as I was about to come out and show you guys, right now, we have been doing stuff to try and remedy this situation. Hi guys! There's Sam. So this, these were old couches. I hate them. They're uncomfortable and they're not ugly, but they're just not comfortable at all. I don't think these were affected, but I did open them up on the inside and fog them out, sprayed it out, cleaned them, and they're out here right now. So far, they seem to be okay, just as far as we can tell. But Sam got, went out and got a bunch more stuff. Um, we're moving these towers out of the bedroom. We're going to put them out here around the TV because I, I already wanted to do that already. There's the bunnies. And um, right now, the bedroom is in shambles because I have been... Um, we're cleaning the bed. Uh, I've been vacuuming everything, getting all the cracks and crevices around the floorboards. I have fogged the bedroom three times total. Um, one, one fogging was inside the box, bringing it to the mattress. Two of them were on top just to spread it all out. I'm airing it all out right now. And I'm going through and very, very obsessively cleaning the carpet and making sure that there's no eggs and nothing hiding anywhere because if there's even one left, they can spread into another infestation. So I'm literally losing my mind trying to figure this out. So that's the situation. That's what went down and that's what I was posting about on Instagram, why I was sleeping on the chair because this has been, this has basically been the last two days or so and will continue to be the next couple of weeks until we are entirely certain that this has been taken care of. But we won't know for sure until we just don't see any activity at all. And if we see, yeah, exactly. I already said that. I already said what happened is we got it from the couch. It's not like we're dirty people. It can literally happen to you if you're in a five-star hotel resort, like in fucking Disneyland. There could be one bed bug that travels with somebody and ends up in your luggage, and you take it home, and it can happen to literally anybody at any time. But for, uh, for us, it was because of my um, ignorance and, moreover, laziness in checking um, if it was safe or not to buy. So we're working on this right now. And uh, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see what comes of this. But uh, for the next couple weeks, we are going to be on high alert, looking for bugs because Sam, like I said, is covered in bites. Hey, you want to see? <clears throat> oh, I mean. Okay, so. Um, she's got some bites on her arms. Oh man, it looks holy all shit. Up. Yep, that's because it's fucking bad. And they're itchy. And then too. Here, yep, they're basically like mosquito bites, except smaller. But when you, yeah. but that's the thing is like. They're smaller at first, but because right they there. bite you so many times in one area, yeah. and you scratch it so many times, it becomes a big bite just like a spade. Yeah, and like I said, they, they don't you don't even realize that they're on you. Here. And then, they, could I mean, on, they could feed on you I all night and you don't even know. Okay. Uh, we'll, uh, just like a little bit, yeah, right down there. That's a birthmark, by the way. If you guys didn't know, Sam has a birthmark on her back. Do. But those are... <laughs> Concentrated tramp bites and stamp stuff. Birthmark. Yeah, or tramp stamp birthmark. <clears throat> but anyways, so, but if you guys are um, scared for the bunnies, don't worry. They stick to 90% human blood, and um, they they pretty much will leave pets alone. They don't really care. Yeah, they should be good. But if they do get bites, they don't transmit diseases. And the only thing that can happen is a small skin infection if they scratch it too much. But I have not noticed any scratching on them. Um, none at all. None, nothing out of the ordinary for scratching themselves. So we should be okay for the bunnies right now. But like I said, I am going ape shit cleaning the bedroom. Because this is the area where they are most likely infested. Because we spend the most time here. And because we have the carpet, the bed, the clothes, the clothes curtains, everything else, this is the place where they would most likely infest because we spend the most time here sleeping. That and the couches where Sam is. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's what that was about. Uh, so now you guys know we're dealing with that, and we're, we'll are we figure it out. Um, we'll give you guys updates if uh, things go right. But like I said, this could go on for a couple weeks. So wish us luck.